Hi guys, Theodore Donner here. Welcome back to another episode of Factions on the Fuse PvP server. I'm on my own today, but I just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on the base. I've done a bit of work. Um, let's start down in the potions room where I am at the moment. There is a new little um, enchantment area. I was having some trouble getting um, a bow that I was making yesterday enchanted, and I've managed now to get a really good one using um, the, the enchantment table here. There is a, a warp enchant um, at spawn, but um, this one has given me loads of good stuff. I've got punch and I'm breaking and power and finish and flame on it which is really good and I went out on a bit of a rampage yesterday and killed a load of load of mobs I've got loads of uh, loads of cooked pork chops now and stuff which is good um yeah this is it but what, I, what I'm gonna do here because I've got I'm running out of room upstairs in my chest room I'll show you in a second um, and I'm going to dig through here and make myself a little um Another room like this on the other side, but one for where I can put my riches. Um, I will line it probably in obsidian, even though the, the land is all claimed around here, just to make it a little bit more secure. Probably do the same in here at some point. Maybe when Jimmy's back in the uh, in on on the server, because obviously we can do it together, it'll be a bit quicker. But let's uh, let's go back upstairs into the main bit of the base, and uh, uh, there's chickens everywhere. Chickens, what are you what are you doing? What are you doing, chickens? How, where are these come from? There's there's lots of chickens, chickens. Someone's been oh sorry baby chicken didn't mean to kill the oh my word. Oh my word. Um. <laughs> well, pff, ignoring the chickens. That there's there's lots <laughs> there's lots of chickens. Ignoring the chickens. I've got a farm. I built a farm. Um. I've got lots of potatoes. I'm gonna have to go and clear all this out because obviously they're gonna start eating all my corn. Uh, do you mind please not not doing that please please don't chickens yeah I'll, I'll come and clear that out later on because there's something else I want to show you in the in the bounce room we've got a little bouncy pad now which I made out of the slime blocks slime balls but um doesn't really do much just bounces up and down but yeah but down here is the biggest addition which is still horribly overrun by chickens um someone's been trolling me I think I know who it is if you know who it is and you watch factions videos um Put some suggestions of who you think on the Fuse PvP server who has been trolling. I want the names, and if, if you get it right, whoever whoever I whoever I see get it right first. I'll give you a shout out in the next factions video. How about that? That seems fair if you get it right. Right, let's go downstairs. This this is a little underground passage, right down low, and in here, um, I've made with a bit of help. I've made um, a. A cow spawning it's snakes meat production facility I'll go upstairs and show you everything how it how it works you've probably seen these before they're not particularly complicated but they are very expensive and I've spent an awful lot of money probably best part of two million in-game dollars to uh, to make this let's just go up here and I'll show you what happens so basically let me let me go am I in fly mode yes I am in fly mode I have fly mode because I'm a youtuber rank in case you're wondering um, yeah they've got a load of low spawner so you buy you buy a, a pig spawner Ouch! At the um, at the at the shop, and then you buy a cow egg. Place the cow cow egg on the spawner, and you get a cow spawner. Obviously, these get to spawn onto the grass. Hit the uh, pressure plate, knocked off with the sticky piston, which is uh, activated by a redstone repeater, and drop into the lava. And as you can see, when uh, when you uh, oops, when you go down, I've got a little staircase down. Let's go down there. There we go. When you uh, when you see them going into the lava. You, uh, you can see them getting all murdered, and they get all the stuff drops into. So when they die, all their their uh, their lovely leather and their meat drop into the chest. If I can actually access a chest, yep. So see, as you can see, I'm going to collect a lot of the meat. Let me just collect some meat, and you'll see when I go to the shop how much money this gives you. Um, it's it's quite a good it's quite a good way of making money. Although it's cost me two million over two million dollars in game to to make this. Obviously, you can get this back quite quickly. Um, you'll get. I've got what we've got here. We've got we've got like eight stacks of uh, eight stacks of. So I'll bring we'll bring the we'll bring the leather as well because we can we can sell the leather. So on the on this server, Chat has set up um, a massive shop system. I don't think I've shown it on one of my videos before. You may have seen it on perhaps on Jimmy's or on someone else's that you might. If you watch Chat's videos, I'm sure he's shown it. Let's go to Warp Shop and we'll uh, we'll have a look. Here we go. Right. So we're in the shop. So we go over to the food section. At the back end there, there is a. There's the signs. So the shop at the top says buy one for two hundred dollars, sell one for thirty dollars. But you can sell a whole stack. No, none of the others have got stacks because obviously this is the only thing really you can you can buy and sell. If I just right click, it says in the bottom left hand corner, I'm adding nineteen hundred and twenty dollars to my account, which is good. Let's go and sell the. Uh, let's go and sell the. Uh, oh, I'm lagging a bit there. Let's go and sell this this uh, this leather as well, and we'll see what we get with that. 
and then we're going to go back to the base and start opening up our, our, our riches room. So we'll sell that. We only get 640 for each stack of, of leather, but it's good. Um, let's have a look at balance. So now I've gone up. I've got 163,000. Oh, I've got enough to buy another uh, another spawner. So let's, let's uh, where are the spawners? Over here. Let's hope I can do this. I tried this earlier. It wouldn't let me buy the spawner. It's not letting me buy the spawner. I don't, I don't have permission for this. So they're going to have to look into this. I'll let, uh, I'll let, let Chatch or the, the other admins know um, that I can't buy spawners at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. But I will, I'll get that sorted. There's obviously some glitch. Maybe it's an April Fool's trick. Ah, that's what it is in my base, isn't it? It's an April, it's an April Fool's trick. Someone has been playing an April Fool's trick on me. It looks like there's even more chickens here. I don't know how my computer is coping with it. Actually, it's coping pretty well. I'm probably going to crash the server now. Whoever's done this is going to pay. They're going to pay. I'm going to find out where they where their base is, and we're going to we're going to raid it because this is this isn't good. Um, but at least the cows are finding. They, they, maybe they're, they're oh, there's there's. There's more coming down. Are oh, they all been placed up top now as well? I'll show what this is up here as well, actually. This is my... Oh, they're all climbing down the ladder. Hello? Hello, chickens? Um, they're having a swim in the... in the hot, in, This is this is an AFK pool. Um, it's my, my, my hot tub time machine. Literally, this just goes around here. And so that you don't get kicked from the server when you're not doing anything. You can just sit, sit here and let the cows um, come out. And uh, and that's how you get your extra meat. Because obviously, if you can fill up those chests... That's a really good way of uh, of oh, I can't believe there's so many. It's a really good way of getting getting extra money because we need to we need to we need to get this we need to get rich so we can start taking on other people's factions, get some get some good weapons and stuff. But um, yeah, well there we go. That's that. Well, let's go back upstairs. Let's let's forget about these chickens, these million chickens that we have in here. I won't be I won't be hungry for a while, will I? Um, we'll go through here and we're gonna we're gonna start digging out. We're gonna dig out with what I've got left of this fancy. Uh, Efficiency 5, still got touch 1, I'm breaking 3 pickaxe. Um, we're going to go down here and I'm going to dig out a bit of an area. Just go through here. Um, I had to light this a little while ago because I came in here to enchant something and there was a creeper sitting in the corner. Luckily he didn't blow because that would have been uh, that been bad. We'll just dig through here and we'll make a little we'll make a little room. We'll go back like 10 or 20 blocks or something. Make it quite big because we're going to get lots of riches and when we do I want somewhere to store them. What I was thinking is I can get diamond blocks and stuff and... Uh, just bring them all into here. Although probably from a security point of view, that's not a very good idea. But you know, does it matter? It's all good fun. This is this is what this game's about. It's not about worrying about it too much. I've got some iron there, so that's good. Right. So what we've we built, we've got one, two. We've gone back five. So we do five the same way this way. Oh, I can't do that because there's a wall there. That's very annoying. I just got a super breaker or something. Um, oh, I just we'll just put some stone back there. We'll go back one more. Go back one more. Let's fill this back in again. I remember. I remember the irons there. Not too worried about that. Got a lot of iron. Right. So let's go back five or six. There we go. That'll do. So we've gone back one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five. Lots of gravel. And there's water coming in. That's just lovely. Don't know where that's from. That must be from a cave or something outside. Not sure. Right. There we go. So we've got. We've got five this way. That'll have to do. That'll do. Right, let's just clear out. I won't do all this on camera because this will be boring, but this is this is the idea. And what we'll do at the end of it, on the next video, when... Uh, oh, there's water just going to pour in, I think. I think it must be above a lake or something. Although, maybe it's just a cave. We're quite low down here. Um, yeah, then what we'll do on the, on the next in the next video, then I can show you what we finished off and how we put all our, our gold blocks and stuff around. As long as we're claimed, no one should be able to, um, to break any of the blocks I put. Obviously, they can... They could destroy them with creepers and stuff, um, but you know that can happen anywhere. And that can happen with chests. There's no real benefit of, uh, of doing that. And to be honest, I'm probably talking utter nonsense. As you guys probably know, I know nothing about factions, and I'm the first to admit it. You're going to flood now. You're going to flood in with water. You are, aren't you? Here we go. Look, thanks a lot for that. Come on, and put some plug that hole. There we go. Hole is plugged. Hole is plugged. Thank you very much. Right, let's put a torch in here for now. And what we'll do is I'll line all this with obsidian as well, just to make it a little bit harder to come in. So if people do come in from the side or don't come through the you know through the front door because there isn't one. Um, if they find the coordinates, at least they can uh, they have a bit of trouble getting in. Uh, we've got there. That's that's good enough. I just dig through so we get to the other end. I'll clear it out and maybe we can start putting a few blocks in here so I can show you what my plan is before we go. Let's uh, let's dig through here. There we go. Right. Oh. There we are, sorted. Right, let's dig, dig, dig. We'll put a floor in as well. I'll put a nice stone floor in, but for now that's not too important. I can do all this bit off camera. 
that's one thing about factions you have to do is it takes a long while to get your money up. Once you do and you start getting a bit of a bit of uh, a bit of cash, you can you can do things much quicker. You can buy a lot more stuff. Water's going to come in again, isn't it? Yeah, here it comes. Oh, stop that. My lovely pickaxe is about to break. I may just not use that for a second, so I want to keep that one. Um, I'll just go and repair that, I think. I've got a spare diamond pickaxe, and if I combine them, then obviously I don't lose the enchants on the one I've got. Let's just quickly clear this out. Oh, more gravel. Gravel, gravel, gravel. The bane of my life at the moment. Block that up. There we go, right. Oh, surely more gravel. It's just everywhere. Gravel is everywhere at the moment. And more gravel. The whole city. I do you know something. Someone's doing something to me here. This can't be this unlucky that I'm just finding gravel in every single bit that I do. Or maybe I am. Maybe I'm just unlucky. Who knows? There we go. That's gone. Is there more gravel here? Yep. Of course there is. Come on, gravel. I don't want to put a feather in there. That won't work. It's like I'm having invisible blocks troll me now as well. And even more gravel. Lovely. I have to go up here and explore what this is because there's obviously a bit of a lake above me, above my head here. Right there we go. That's, that's cleared out. So that's good. We've got we've got this other side to do, but it's not too important at the moment. We've got chickens coming down here now. This is just lovely. Chickens everywhere. <laughs> Amazing. Right, what we'll do? We'll go and get some of our riches. Let's go upstairs and see what we've got. We've got a few diamonds. Maybe we could make a chicken farm downstairs as well. Um, so I've got 26 diamonds, I've got some lapis blocks, I've got enough gold to make some gold blocks. Um, we'll make some lapis blocks as well. Um, what else have we got? Uh, what have we got? What have we got? got some gold, but I can, not much good to me at the moment. I'll put the iron that away. Um, what else have we got? More iron there. I could make one iron block, I suppose. Uh, do we, have we got any redstone anywhere? I'm sure I had some redstone blocks. They look quite nice in a... Yeah, we've got four redstone blocks. Well, that'll do. That'll do for now. Let's quickly just make these into blocks. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be that'll be done. Let's just get some seven there. Uh, and up there. And let's just make another one. Fifteen. I haven't got quite enough to do that. Redstone, we've got one iron block. That'll do for now, just so we can show you. Right, there we go. So we've got a few blocks. These chickens just appearing from thin air. Random appearing chickens. Right, so obviously I've got to clear the floor out. I'm going to make this one high. I might even go down a few levels rather than dig up because we know water's above us. And that might be easier than messing about. I didn't do the diamond blocks, did I? It's annoying. Let's quickly go and do them. I want to do the diamond blocks. Have we got a crafting table down here? Whenever you want a crafting table, there isn't one. Have you noticed that? Never one to hand. Right, quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Right, let's do... We've got enough for two diamond blocks. That's cool. And, uh, right, let's get in here. Maybe we will go up. We'll try and go up. Right, let's put the... Let's put the gold, the diamond, the... That and that. That's all we've got, isn't it? There we are. So we've got an iron an iron block. So we'll put an iron block here. Tong. Although an iron block is actually an anvil in this. Once you get to a certain level um, of uh, skill levels... Um, you get, you can use this to repair stuff, which is quite cool. It's quite a good idea, I think. Uh, we'll do that. This is going to be a much bigger, I think, obviously, because we've got 20 blocks of gold here. Um, but I've got a lot more room. Well, this is this is a salvage block now. So my levels have gone up as well, so I can actually salvage with this. I'll keep one of these back then, although there are they are everywhere. Um, and you can you can actually, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I may be wrong. I don't know if it works with this, but I think you can take off the. I think you can un. What does it say you can do? Let me look in the chat. Um, you've placed a salvage anvil. Use this as salvage tools and armor. So you can place your armor in, and then I think you get back your original, like what what it was made from. So like if it was if it was diamond armor, you get your diamonds back and stuff. I think I think that's how it works. I don't know if I want to place all this lapis here because there's there's 54 of it, but I'll just place a few for now, um, just so we could so we got a cool kind of. Oh, that's oh ah, eat, ah, oh the horrible blocks. Are these gonna un? Block. I think we've got some invisible blocks here. I think sometimes when you when you when you mine quickly, you get a super breaker and it does glitch out the block sometimes. There we go. Look, so we've got a bit of a, a bit of a fancy room in here. I will make it better in between episodes. Um, but yeah, that's it. There is our our base. It's getting bigger. It's getting better. The Uber tubers are are growing. It's still only me and Jimmy. 
Oh, an egg, lovely. Um, yeah, the Uber Chips is still only me and Jimmy, but we will be opening up. If you if you are a, a player on Fuse, we will be opening up the, the faction at some point. I don't know when it will be, um, but I want to get the I want to get the base to the point where it's kind of controlled by me and Jimmy. So it's obviously if we have lots of other people on in the in the faction, the base can grow, and I want to be able to show it on 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 video myself rather than you know having it suddenly appear over overnight kind of thing. So yeah, it will be happening eventually, but at the moment at the moment it's just me and Jimmy in the Uber Tubers. Um, yeah, guys, hope you've enjoyed. That was a very little, simple episode. We will try and do some more raids soon once we get some coordinates and stuff. We'll probably get Chatch and uh, some other people on board to uh, to help us in the raid, maybe. Um, yeah, if you know who, if you have an idea of who you think has been uh, has been trolling me in this episode, then uh, leave it in the comment. If you get it right, and I, I, I saw whoever I see first, or I pick someone at random, maybe, and um, to give everyone a chance, I will I will give you a shout out in the next video. And also, one other thing to say, um, if you like and uh, if you like and uh, and appreciate this video, then give it a thumbs up for me because I don't ask often for uh, for these uh, in videos. But um, I want to see if I can get to say 200, 200 likes in this video. Two hundred likes is something I've uh, I've never done in a video. I don't think, apart from maybe my bigger series that I've done. Um, I will also say hello to Sir Elton of John. He's my pet cat. Um, don't ask me why I named him that. But yeah, guys, hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you again soon for some more factions.